Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this very nice Horizon Zero Dawn main theme. Okay, I really like this theme, it's not difficult to learn but it's awesome. Okay, so here we go, give you a preview of the main theme you're going to learn, it goes like this. Yeah, and that's it, okay? So afterwards, you can make it more awesome, very big and everything. I quite like to make it big because this one is very epic, this theme. You can do like... That's why it's so important to learn the melody and chords first because from that everything else are just improvisation and patterns you can like add to it. But anyway, very beautiful theme, let's learn it right now. Let's break it up to parts that's easier to learn, break it up to two parts, okay, here we go. First part goes like this, right hand starts on the A here, middle C here, so just go up to the A here, so A up to E, F, E, and then A, E, F, B, C, and then a up to G, F, F, down to B, C up to B, A, G, F, like that. That's the right hand for the first part. Okay, so let's do it again. So the first part goes like this. It goes A, E, F, E, A, E, F, B, C, then A, G, F, F, B, C up to the high B, A, G, F. That's the right hand for this first part. Once you get the right hand for the first part, left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are A minor, which is A, C, E. Second chord is G major, which is G, B, D. Third chord F major is F, A, C. And fourth chord D minor, which is D, F, A. So yeah, if you didn't notice, all four chords were all 40 white note chords, so it's easier to remember. So anyway, one more time, so it's A minor, G major, F major, and D minor. With those four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, E and A minor together, right hand continues, B and G major together, right hand continues, second F and F major together, B, C, high B and D minor together. Just like that, and that's the first part. One more time, so it goes like this. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. And that's it for the first part. Awesome stuff. Moving on to the second part. Right hand continues, goes E down to A. Up to E, D, down to G, then A. And that's it for the right hand. One more time for the right hand. So it goes E, down to A, up to E, D, G, and then A. And that's it for the right hand. Pretty simple second part, okay, for the right hand. Left hand, four chords here. The four chords are first inversion of A minor, which is C, E, A. Second chord is G major, which is G, B, D. Third chord is D suspension four, which is D G A, and the fourth chord is D major, which is D F sharp A. Okay, so with these four chords in mind. So first inversion A minor, and then second chord is G major, third chord D sus four, D major is the fourth chord, and that's it. Okay, so with those four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this: E and the first inversion together. So it's together, D and G major together, A and D sus four together. Two, three, four, D major by itself. And that's it, one more time. So it goes like this, it goes together. 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 Two, three, four, here. Yeah, and 
that's it for this second part. Back to back, the two parts we've learned in this lesson would be play like this. Check it out. theme. I love this theme, okay? So anyways, after you get all this melody and chords right, um, and very smooth, and then also the rhythm, very good as well, then you can start adding other improvisations to it to make it sound more awesome, more bigger, or whatever you want it to be, okay? So anyway, you can start off with something like a simple like pattern, of like a dun, 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 four more chords, like that, you can do that. So like... Start adding arpeggios like that. Yeah, simple arpeggios. And you're gonna fasten it. So yeah, start off with the slow arpeggios, then double with the speed, then double with the speed, and if you want to double with the speed again, you can, but I just tried out the double speed, like the, the quadruple speed at the end. It sounds a bit weird, it sounds very like, like too intense, it's like... It's a bit, it's a bit too intense, I think. So yeah, I think uh, double the speed will be alright, but that quadruple the speed is like a bit funny, interesting kind of sounding. But anyway, it's up to you, remember? It's all like uh, what you can do. So like the improvisation and decorations is what you know that you can substitute in those chord patterns, okay? And if you wanna learn how to do all this kind of stuff, I teach it in the piano courses. So yeah, go ahead. If you wanna learn piano from me, you can learn it there. So learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music from my website, bestpianomethod.com. The link is in the description below if you wanna learn more piano from me there, okay? So it's always just expanding your musical knowledge of the stuff, okay? But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like these step-by-step -step piano tutorials make sure you also check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from uh, music of all sorts from video games to um, English songs Chinese Japanese Korean like movie songs meme songs just so many it's like literally anything you can find out on the channel so anyway check it out as for now that's pretty much it enjoy the time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.